Hey guys, so you got Cheeky Saver here, and before you get into this, if you haven't done your grocery shopping, it is still Thursday, get in your car and do it today, because tomorrow the prices go up, and they're not as good for the next week. There's still some deals, but this one is going to be short, so hold on to your hats and let's see what we can find. Okay, this is Co-op West, and as you can see, the Extra Lean is on sale for $2.99 a pound. That's a pretty good price for that. I'm still waiting for under $2 a pound. When that sale comes on for lean ground beef, I will buy then. Blueberries, they're cheaper at Superstore right now for a two-pound bag. It's a or container. It's a dollar cheaper, and that's a pretty good price right there. This is still co-op. This is the next page. And if you don't do your own canning and you want some of these canned products, there they are. 89 cents for beans or tomatoes. That is a pretty good price for Unico. I haven't been buying sunflower oil, but this strikes me as a good price. Can someone let me know if this is for the saffro? Saflo. Um, sunflower oil. It's one liter for $4.49. Just when I was starting to lose hope, in comes no frills. Thank goodness. Okay, these cones and sandwiches here, two eighty-eight. If you got those coupons, you can get the two packs for cheaper. Now, that is a pretty good price for a pack that size. The bounty, I'm not so sure about. I have to scroll. Um. Wow, what the heck do I have happening here? Hold on. Okay, that's fixed. I'm not redoing this. <laughs> um, okay, this is a pretty good price for a whole chicken. I don't tend to buy these because if you bought a three pound chicken and come home and cook it, you may as well have just picked up one of the ones that are done on the rotisserie and given yourself that little break. Um, this is one of the cases where it's a little bit cheaper. It doesn't happen often. And for whole watermelon, that's a really good price. Yay, yay, yay. They still have the good deals on meat. They carried it over. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Um, we still get our wieners at a good price. And the chicken breast is the same deal as last week as well. Yet again, they still have this on sale, but this week they also have the Oktoberfest. That is a great price for that. Um, yeah, they're just expensive. Smokies are. And they taste so good. <laughs> it's unfortunate, really. But, you know, that's that's a good price for them if you need some. Okay, the tomatoes are not the same as the other one. They are hot host tomato. The other ones were vine ripened and they have broccoli on sale again. You have no idea until you've looked at the other flyers how lucky we are that they continued over so much of their sales this week. This is a pretty good price on hot dog buns and there's a coupon out there when you buy hot dogs you get the buns free. There's some kind of deal. I'm not I haven't researched it and didn't pay much attention when I saw it, so I need to look at that again. The cukes are a good price at the 88 cents each. I will never in my life buy these. Bought them once. I make them way better. And maybe I'll show you that one day. There's just so much to possibly show you guys and I have to do it on my good days. And it's canning season. So... I don't do a lot of canning vids. I only focus in when I do one on the vids that um, nobody else has really done. I couldn't find a strawberry rhubarb pie filling online with a vid, and especially one without apples. And I'm allergic to apples, so I did that. Okay. Minute Maid Juice, that's a good price. This isn't as good of a price as that because of size difference, but this is shelf stable. And 
the pickles are also on sale for two eighty eight. There they are, the two eighty eight scrolled down. Um that's a good price for toaster strudel. Um if you want to eat that you can. It could be something you might want to make yourself is my thought on that. They just taste pretty chemically to me. Um this is a good price. It's not a great price. I'll wait for it to be lower. Like I said before, I'm trying to get some for free. If I can't get some for free, I don't know. Maybe I'll make some, but I don't want to go into making dill pickles. I want to go into buy them and get them for almost free. International Delights, same as last week. Um... And it, there's still that printable coupon for 75 cents off. So when you're getting a few of them, it really counts. And they kept all of this stuff on sale. It's like they just did this whole page again. And this is making me crave patties. <laughs> I love those things. My daughter thinks they're spicy, and I keep thinking she just really has no clue on what spicy is. They also carried over these, which if you have... If you're moving or something, some of these pizzas would be great. To pick up a two-pack of those, you wouldn't have to be running around. You would just throw them in the oven, and that would work if you had to. Um, Colgate, same as last week. Great deal. Soft soap is free, too. And they keep missing these deals on a lot of the sites, and I don't know why, because those are really, really great. I see one that puts up... Um, one deal at a time and that doesn't really help people when you put up that you need Ziplocs or you can get Ziploc for free then you put it up a week later or a few days later that you can get something else for free give you I, I, I would rather just give you the store and give you all the freebies for it so you don't have to go through that okay flour and nuts we have raw almonds for 488 and flour um, I'll wait and I'll get no name. It really doesn't matter. Flour is pretty much flour, unless you're getting self-rising or something like that. Okay, um, this one is an okay deal here. The two-pound clamshell, I will be getting more. <laughs> um, I picked up one today, and it was this price. And I also picked up 14 pounds of peaches and two boxes of cereal. And when I went and checked mom's mail, checked her greenhouses and everything, I got everything for a salad too. And I spent $14.50. That's it. That's quite a lot of fruit and everything to get for that. And I'll probably go out and spend a dollar or two later and come home with three to four packs of Snyder's hot dogs. So I'm going to rock these deals as much as I can and do the best I can to um, make my money stretch farther. If you're looking for some shelf stable juice, this is a good price. I mean it made a dollar each. Um, the back to school specials are great this week but everything else is fairly high still. I saw this page earlier and I almost blew it by it then and had to go back and I just did it again. This is a big pack of beans. It's not like a 10 pound one or anything. It's really hard to read that writing. Um, that is not going to be a two pound. That's going to be a four pound pack. That's going to be at least two kilograms for that price. So when you're looking for this um, this is over usually in the Indian section of the store, the ethnic section. Uh, section That is where they have all of these beans and stuff. And it is a better price than going and buying it in a soup section where they have beans. It just is. And it's the same product. And generally I find that when you get spices and all of that jazz in the Indian section, they're cheaper. They're stronger because they're fresher and they have more flavor. So I usually 
pick up what I can there for spices when possible. The percentage off will start increasing very quickly on the summer clearance items. So if you need soil for a bucket garden or anything like that, this is the time to go get that stuff. You will get your best deal on it now. And um, yeah, anything for outdoors that you need, still the best time of the year to get it. Pears, right here. That's a six pound bag for five bucks. That's a good price. And as a result of that price, I'm going to end up doing some canned pears. I really like canned pears. I like canned peaches too. Um, I'm going to be doing pie fillings right now in the next couple days worrying about that. Um, because we really use them so much, we do absolutely use it as a fruit replacement when I'm making many things. So I'm really excited about doing the peach. That'll be a fun one. If you're looking for a vid on peach pie filling, I'm still working as one. I'm also doing blueberry. And if I'm still working, doesn't have one, I know Purbane does. And it's Purbane's recipe I actually use. And it's the best blueberry pie filling I've ever had. Um, hands down, ever, ever. And that's it for Superstore. Let's see if we can maybe find something at another store here. Okay, this is a Safeway Flyer. I'm not even sure if it's for this area, but there's only one deal worth getting. And it's not worth going into the store for because it goes on sale so many other places for the same price. If I'm going that out of my way, I want to be able to get more for my money than to go for one deal. Besides that, this left kind of a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Spend 60 or in five times the air miles. Okay, you get one air mile per $20 you spend. So that means if we spend $100, we get 25 air miles. Bonus. Um, excuse me? Did you kiss us first? What are you thinking, Safeway? I mean, normally there is a coupon on the front where you spend 100, you get 100. Now we're only going to get 25. That's taking $7 out of our pockets. That's not good enough. It's not even close to good enough. <sighs> Yay. Okay, these guys are making me a little happy here. Maybe I can do something with cherries. Maybe. That's really an expensive product to work with. 244 pound is the cheapest I've seen them. Um, this is in the extremely cheap range. So if you're thinking about doing something with cherries, this is the time to do it. Okay, that was it for Sobe. So it's on to Target. <laughs> Um, if you have little ones and you need back to school supplies, this is the time to really get on it. There are some good deals to be had. Okay, the neutral grains here, that's a pretty good price. And so are the Rice Krispie Squares. It's mostly all back to school specials. This isn't really a good price because it's only an eight pack. You're much better off at no frills getting theirs. On that last page, there was a 24 pack of Target brand water, and that was on for a dollar ninety nine. That was a great price for that guy. Now, on to this one. Um, <laughs> they have the same one that's on sale for eighty eight cents here for a dollar forty nine. This is much closer to a normal price and. That's kind of expensive. The mini wheats, you're not getting anything back when you buy it without having coupons and stuff on it. It's better to buy it the other way. Okay. If you have some coupons for the Oasis, I'm pretty sure there's some out there. I'm pretty sure I've done a video showing some. 
even if it's only 50 cents off. This is a great deal, especially if we could find them on sale somewhere else and you could price match. But I have not been able to find that, so there will be no price match on this. However, you buy three, um, that's eleven fifty. If you can take it off and get it to ten, that's fine. But you get a five dollar gift pack card back for every three you buy. So that's a great way to knock down a price, providing the pro uh, the product you're buying isn't crazy expensive to start with. That is fairly high. I still have to look at another store, but without price match I would I would do it if I could price match it and bring that cost down just a little bit here we go Pepsi and Coke this is a good price it's a 710 it's quite a big size for two bucks um, that's a great price nothing wrong with that at all these chips are a pretty good deal I still got a way better deal last week Old Dutch they don't put out coupons out here. Nope, but they do in Ontario. In Ontario, they get coupons for $2 off, and we don't get them here, which makes them free. We don't get them at all. Instead, we end up with Lay's, who will do the spend 20, get 20, and they will compensate us in a different way, and we end up with free stuff that way. So I guess it all works out in the end. Okay, here's Walmart. Um, that's a pretty good price on a rib steak. If you are buying a rib steak, I enjoy that cut myself. Um, cherries are a pretty good deal. Cheaper at other stores. This is a pretty good price, but that's a real small pack. Um, the other one is not 70, it's 70 calories. And it doesn't say the size on that either. Hmm. I always loaded up my freezer with this kind of stuff when my kids were little. And the ice cream man would come around with the ice cream truck. And every once in a while, kids in our neighborhood... And we were in a subsidized area, so people who couldn't afford it were going out and sending their kids out for ice cream. And I was thinking they're out of their mind. And they were. But every single day, as soon as the kids heard the ice cream truck, they always got excited. Because they knew that they could go get a treat out of my freezer. So my kids, every time the ice cream guy came around, went and got a treat. Now my kids are not... When they were young, we spent a lot of time outside, so they were burning off the energy. So it was really not a big deal for them. But, um, yeah, they loved that they actually had it all on hand whenever they wanted. This is a great price for bottled water. My daughter will be happy. They need it for camping. And when you freeze bottled water, it makes it so you have all the ice you need. And it works really well in the coolers. And as it defrosts, you can pull out one or two here or there. And it's no big deal. Okay, people like I'm still working in Jane All Zero, they're picking their blackberries. Two bucks for a pint. That's how much it costs. Yeah. And depending on the brand, sometimes you can actually get coupons on it. Absolutely you can. You can also get coupons on the palm, but um, there's no prices I'm interested in here. Not a one. I'm seeing corn start to come, and that has me excited. <laughs> really excited, actually, because um, I just watched I'm Still Working's video on canning corn, you need a pressure canner. You have to do it very specific ways, and I recommend that you watch hers when it comes to canning corn. Now, 12 cobs of corn is what she used. She ended up with the equivalent of 10 cans 
of corn. And she also ended up with a whole bunch of cans, or not, yeah, a whole bunch of jars of corn cob jelly. And the corn cob jelly is supposed to taste like honey, and I want to try it. <laughs> I already have my pectin. I bought it on sale last year at reduced cost. I got my lids and rings and everything. All, everything I could, I got at discount. So I am ready for this. And when I can, I want to be able to process probably 24 of them, but I won't do it until they're 20 cents, 20 to 25 cents a cob. This is too expensive. I won't do it quite at that price. And they have the same price as no frills for their cucumber and tomato. Okay, I haven't checked these yet, but now I kind of want to. I want to know if it's got mechanically deboned stuff in it, and I also want to know the weight. Natural selections weighs less, about two ounces less per package. So you get a smaller wiener or you get less wieners. I'm not sure how they do that. I know that the top dog, I won't eat them. <laughs> now, if you got kids going back to school, this could be a good price, but they don't give you a listing of how many are in the package. Yeah. They give you a UPC number, but not how many are in the package. So if that's a two-pack of Pizza Pops, that's not such a good idea, uh, good one. But if it's a four-pack, that is a little better. Kids' lunches. Um, some kids here start back to school now. And, or... Yeah, about now, and then in the next little bit, because we have something called year-round schooling. Now, my kids did this for a year or two, and with the year-round schooling, they don't lose as much, and over the summer, they just forget things. They don't lose as much. They retain the information better, and the kids are more relaxed because they get more breaks through the year. So you actually end up with students that are doing better as a result of it. It can be a pain in the butt to plan vacations around though because in the beginning of the summer we get so many storms and it doesn't really start to dry up until August when you can be outside in the sun and have fun. So it can be a little bothersome in one way but in the other, it is in their best interest. Oh boy, someone forgot to tell Walmart that Target was kicking their butt when it comes to the pop. Oh well, that's just awful. If I'm going to get any, honestly, I'll price match Target's and then I'll use coupons to overage to bring the cost of this down. I have some that will bring it down over a dollar so off of the two it'll be like a dollar 37 off and it'll be 67 cents for a six pack of these crazy good price still paying deposit but it's still a crazy good price if you have grandkids and many do this is the time to buy a bunch of these and put them away for Christmas they will not be as cheap again later. It's the best time to do this. Pencil crayons, crayons, all that kind of jazz. Now's the time you want to buy it. Great stocking stuffers. Okay, this is the last page to the last store. And it's just Walmart. There's really not that great of deals in here. I guess the tire's a pretty good deal. <laughs> So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you can save some money. Um, there are some deals to be found this week, just not as good as last week. Last week was really spectacular. I did great last week, which is why I ran out and bought so much produce. <laughs> so, now i got to get to work, and i got to get to canning. So, take care. Have a great day. I hope you save some money.